Hi there, Steve Krause, a technical specialist at West Central Distribution today. Uh, today we're out looking at one of our soybean plots here, taking a look at what we're seeing for some responses here. We're up in northwest Minnesota here where IDC is a pretty big issue for us. Uh, we're dealing with a, typically a little bit of a higher pH, some situations which really can cause some issues in the crop. Here's a great example of why we put soy green down as a starter with our soybeans. If we look over here, I'm standing right on the road line here, we have our untreated check, which is the standard for most of our soybean acres. And over here, we have the addition of soy green at a gallon per acre with the liquid formulation. What we're doing here is going six gallons total in furrow, and we can really start to see that benefit. If we're looking over here, we're really starting to see those symptoms of IDC as we look through the stunting, the coloration difference, where we're actually seeing that chlorosis, that nice yellowing that we typically don't like to have. But these beans are really at a disadvantage. They're really put down, they're, they're struggling to fight and, and get access to that iron. You know, one of the ways that we've known over the 16 years with a product like Soy Green is we're able to provide that iron through that chelation technology. And we can see that difference in the overall plants we're seeing with that height difference, the lushness, where IDC really isn't setting these beans back in any way, shape, or form. It's really an easy way to incorporate and overcome these IDC issues in those tougher environments and really help maximize your soybean yields. And here's a great visual response of what we're seeing with the addition of soy green in that IDC environment. Up here when we're dealing with it, a lot of different conditions that are contributing to this, um, but we can just really see how beneficial that application of soy green is. Here we're at three pounds per acre as the dry formulation blended with water. And look at what we're seeing for overall response. Our height, our, our overall size and vigor of this plant is tremendously different. We can see that health difference. One of the things that really struck me as we were digging here is if we look at what we're seeing for our roots here, we don't see quite a bit with our nodulation, just a few small nodules on there. And we swap over to our soy green, look at the nodules and the nodulation that we're actually seeing here. The overall root mass is far healthier, far better. Uh, we're really getting that benefit for that overall plant health and really bringing the most out of these soybean plants, overcoming those tough IDC conditions. Again, soy green is an easy integration. There's a number of different formulations with a dry formulation that can be blended with water. We have our liquid formulation. We have a new formulation coming out for 2019 with soy green AST with advanced stabilization technology. And we have our fourth option with soy green grand in there for that air cedar market. So any way that you have issues with IDC, we have a way to touch those acres and help combat this major issue and push those soybean yields to the next level. Thank you. Thank you.